Don't hide, Lucky. I like your new look. No, you don't. Hooch is right. You don't want to be seen with me. Yes, I do. You're still lucky. I think you're cool in any color. One Hundred and One Dalmatians, one of Disney's most successful movies, being that the movie has a 98% of Rotten Tomatoes, it's a pretty good movie to watch. Being that a movie this popular should have its own TV series, like DuckTales, Goof Troop, and Tailspin. But after watching a few episodes of One Hundred and One Dalmatian, the TV series, no, not that one, this one, I've discovered a dark secret behind one of the episodes. But what are my thoughts on the TV series? Well, all I could say is that the show isn't that great. Sure, it falls what happened after the first movie, but there are some flaws the show suffers from. First, it's fast pace, and what I mean by that, I mean the way they introduce new characters almost every episode. Like, who is this? Who's that? And what the heck is this guy doing here? Also, is this still England, or is this the USA being evidence of that flag in the background? It's unknown what alternate universe the show's in, but those are the only problems I have with the show. One thing I did notice in the show that it takes place in the modern 1990s instead of the original more late 1950s, which I kind of find unique, and very strange how it works. The plot is simple. Three of the original 15 puppies of Pongo and Perdita, Lucky, Rolly, Cat Pig, and the Spotted Chicken that appears out of nowhere, go on adventures on the Dalmatian Plantation Farm, while Corella being the main villain again, but with a different motive. Instead of skinning puppies to make coats, she wants to steal the farm from Pongo and Perdita's owners for some reason, I don't know why. Now that I got that taken care of, let's talk about the dark secret behind one of the episodes. Now, if you are a kid who is watching this video, I would recommend you click off due to the fact that this topic is not suitable for children. If you are a child and if you want to leave the video, I can wait. Are you done? Great then. So in the episode Love Them and Flee Them, there is a puppy known as Two-Tone. She is one of the original 15 puppies. Remember that. She wants to impress her boyfriend Mooch, who is an absolute jerk by wearing an outfit to woo him into taking her to that four-legged ball. Cabot tells Two-Tone that it's a matter on what's on the inside, not what's on the outside that counts. But Two-Tone doesn't listen to her and goes to seduce Mooch, which ultimately backfires on her. Feeling depressed, she meets Lucky and Rolly, and Lucky asks her to the ball. Mooch tries his best to make sure Lucky can't go to the ball by giving Lucky fleas and dyeing his fur pink. But in the end, Lucky and Two-Tone go to the ball together, and the hearts will tell you everything. Now here's where it gets dark. Lucky and Two-Tone are both siblings to Pongo and Perdita, right? So you know what that means. That's right. Incest. There is no question about it. Both puppies just promoted incest. Maybe I'm not sure if it counts as incest, maybe it's sibling love, but look at them! They're gazing into each other's eyes, touching nose to nose, and there is a heart. And the fact Lucky did say that he wished that he went to the ball with Two-Tone. Oh well, I still wish Two-Tone was going to the dance with me. That's what's so dark about this episode, the fact that there was incest in a kid show. But I mean, hey, it was the 90s. People put a lot of dirty jokes into children's cartoons back then, and they still do to this day. So behind this dark secret behind this episode, what is my verdict for the show? Well, I'm not personally a fan of the series, being that it's fast-paced with the characters and the Dalmatian puppies are more cartoony than what they looked like in the movie. But it's kind of like a continuation of the original movie if you watch the pilot episode. Besides that, I think Disney could have done a little bit better with this show. But tell me, what do you think about the dark secret behind 101 Dalmatians TV series? Do you think you agree with me, or do you think I'm wrong? Well, I believe I can move on with another... Whoa, Dolly! Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. 